during the pandemic, we all changed the way that we work practically overnight. When everybody now returns to the office, their daily routine is going to be very different from what it used to look like. I'm not sure it's ever going to go back to how it used to be. The office space itself has just fundamentally changed just to allow end users to be able to enter the workspace environment, which they're going to need to do just to collaborate and get that creative magic that happens when you get a group of people together. But they want to do that safely. They want to do it with confidence that they're being protected and that the technology is out there and doing its best job of looking after them. There's going to be thermal scanning to make sure that they haven't contracted COVID and that they're safe to enter the workspace. You need occupancy tracking to understand who's been in the building at a particular time. Because if somebody ends up contracting COVID, you need to make sure that you can contact all of the other co-workers and almost build out your own track and trace solution. Companies are going to be making the investment in all of this technology just to make the workspace a safer place for end users. For example, if you've got a capacity limit, getting the right number of people back into the office is largely going to be down to hot desk booking solutions and meeting room booking solutions. Using sliders just adjust the capacity limit that you've got within the office. When you hit that quota, it would tell that person that unfortunately that office is full. They're going to need to make sure that they've got a hot desk booked in the office before they arrive at the office which means you can start to tie the hot desk booking solutions actually into the building access control. So if you don't have a hot desk booked, you can't physically access the building. When they arrive at their desk, then you obviously don't want multiple touch points that everybody's been using. That starts to introduce the smart lockers. They have the app on their phone. The locker opens. Inside there will be their keyboard, their mouse, their headset. They pick those up, they go to their allocated hot desk, and then they start their normal day of working. People are also going to be wary about bringing entire teams back into the office. Meeting room solutions are going to be key to this because you can't just all of a sudden cram everybody into a meeting. What we need is contactless meeting rooms. You walk into the room, you're emailed a QR code and the meeting room system automatically activates and joins that meeting for you so that you don't have to touch anything when you walk in there. If you've got a capacity limit on that meeting room, you can get the meeting room to start to react to that situation where it can pop up warnings on the screen because too many people are in the meeting. That's the new way of smart meeting rooms. You want to have this smooth, slick, streamlined experience where your end users are more productive, they can collaborate easily, they want to interact with other people in a safe, COVID-friendly environment. But at the same time, even when you go into the office, the chances are there's going to be a lot of people from your team or people that you would normally work with that are still working remotely. You're still going to be coming into the office, but now everybody's going to be using video conferencing platforms, which take up more bandwidth on the network. The other issue you're going to have is the underlying network infrastructure might not be capable of handling all of those video conferences. We can start holding network assessments to understand what their networking capabilities are and whether or not that's suitable for the new way of working. These are the kind of things that people need to consider to make sure that their end users are happier. People are going to be more productive because of that creative magic that doesn't happen virtually. And these are the kind of solutions that we are working with our customers to deploy to try and make it easier to return to the workspace.